Hello world, Alexander Buckley here and let's talk games. Now before we crack on with anything today, just want to talk about the background music. Now a few of you have sent me messages uh, basically saying that you know your background music changes a lot, we're not too sure what's going on with that. Full disclosure, I am not the best person at making music, doing it myself and if you don't like it that's kind of my fault because I'm not, you know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing basically, I'm making up tracks as I go along. So for this video I thought I'd try something different and use some royalty free music and this track you can hear in the background is called Going Higher and it's by Ben Sound so if you like this track please check out www.bensound.com there'll be a link in the description as well but that's where this track has come from now moving on looking at the old Apple Arcade again and we are looking at today another, vid uh, another video <laughs> this is the video we're looking at another game on the service if you're not sure what Apple Arcade is please check out my links below because I've got a review on it and I've got a whole video explaining what Apple Arcade is and what it does but for today we're looking at one of the games you can get on it which is called What the Golf uh, and this is an interesting one this was recommended to me by um, a friend of mine who said he, he spent a lot of time on this and he said it's one of his uh, favourite games um, it's quirky is the best word I can use for it. So what I did like about this game is that when you first boot it up there is no intro, it just gets straight into the game um, and as you can probably tell from some of the visuals and the graphics that are going on it kind of starts off as like a golf game and you're playing with like golf balls in traditional sense and then suddenly it changes to pretty much any object to go into any varying degrees of holes I guess that sounds awful but yeah essentially so it could be like a person, it could be a sofa, it could be a cat, it could be, um, I, I don't know, a television. And then like various obstacles will get in the way, and not only will they get in the way, but you're going to get things like um, weird little puns. So if you hit a cat into a hole, they will say something like, perfect putt, which I'll be honest, I did quite, I quite enjoy the puns, I like bad puns. But um, yeah, it's a very odd game this, and um, it's not really my cup of tea. Uh, focusing on the positives, um, I think the style of it, it looks really nice, it looks really good. Um, I like the graphics of it. I like the uniqueness of it. This is a game that I haven't really sort of seen someone do before, so I quite like that. Um, and all the standard Apple Arcade stuff is here, so there's no adverts, there's no stuff like that, so I'm very happy with that. But for me, one of the things that's really annoying is the controls. I didn't find the controls the most responsive. They kind of got on my nerves a little bit. Um, and I was using both the DualShock controller and I was using my sort of hand as the traditional touch controls. And I just didn't really get on with it that well. I think the controls could be better. I also just kind of got bored of this really quickly because, sure, like the first couple of times it's pretty funny, um, but then very quickly the kind of the appeal goes pretty quick for me. It's not really a good sports title or anything like that. You know, it's going to be a bit of fun, but it did sort of raise or highlight the fact there are not many sports games on Apple Arcade at all. So, still waiting to find something sports based that is actually really good on the surface. But yeah, it's... Do you know what this feels like? This feels like something that you would play just to pass the time and that's pretty much it. There's nothing more, nothing less to be said about it. I don't think it's that great, but I can see a lot of people playing this Kind of the same way they play Candy Crush, just to kill some time. That's basically how I feel about this. But love the art style, uh, like the uniqueness of it. Just it's all right. Not the best game, not the worst game. It's just all right. And that's pretty much my review on this because there's not much more else to say about that. The controls are okay. Graphically, it looks okay. It, it's unique enough. You get daily challenges and stuff. But other than that, yeah, it's fine. So that's going to do it for this one. A very quick review because uh, it just gets to the point. You know, <laughs> it's just, don't waste any more time. If you if, if the games, if it's, if it's a more complex game, I'll give you more details on it. But this one's pretty straightforward. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you like the content that I am putting out, please hit that like button. And also, actually, you know what? if you do have any comments at all, like the music thing was quite a cool comment that I got from someone. So if you do have any comments on how I can improve things, please let me know because I'm over the feedback. Uh, and I'm trying to make this the best channel I can and I'm still new to the whole YouTube thing. So that's uh, one thing. Secondly, if you do like the content and you want to see more type of stuff like this or you like any of the other videos I have out there, then please subscribe to the channel as well so that you can see more videos as they come out and it will help us grow the channel as well. That's going to do it for this one, guys. So have a good one and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.